This video is part of a series of short videos on asthma and how it is treated. They are listed here in a logical order that you might choose to watch them in. If you want, click on an icon to leave this video and watch another one earlier in the sequence. You can easily come back to this one later. The word asthma was used in ancient Greece when it probably meant noisy breathing. Today, the word is used to describe patients with a particular kind of obstructive airway disease. To learn more about asthma, you need to understand what your airways are and why they are important. When you breathe, air that contains oxygen comes in through your mouth or nose and travels down your airways. At the end of the airways, the air fills up small sacs called alveoli. Apparently, if you take all of your alveoli and spread them out, they could cover the surface of a badminton court. That would not be a good idea, because when they're in your body, your alveoli are where the oxygen can move into your bloodstream and get carried to all of the places in your body that need it, like your brain and heart. When you have asthma, one of the things that you notice is that some of the time you feel completely fine. When you feel like that, your airways are working well and oxygen is getting to all of the places that need it. But because you have asthma, sometimes your airways get narrow. That makes breathing harder, so you feel short of breath, and sometimes you make a wheezing sound. When your airways are narrow, we call that obstruction, and that is why we call asthma an obstructive airway disease. When your airways are narrow, that can make it difficult for you to do many of the things that you would like to do. Sometimes this narrowing of the airways can be so severe that you don't get enough oxygen into your blood and to all of the places that need it. When that happens, you can feel really short of breath and panicky. Sometimes you may need to go to your doctor or the emergency department or even get admitted into hospital. You probably wonder why it is that sometimes people with asthma can breathe just as easily as people who don't have asthma, but at other times they feel like they can hardly breathe at all. Even though doctors don't know everything about why you have asthma, they do know quite a lot about what makes your airways get obstructed. To help you understand this, we will look at a picture of the airway as if we'd cut through it. In the middle, you can see the hollow part of the airway, where the air moves, carrying oxygen into the lungs. Around the outside is a layer of muscle, called smooth muscle. Funnily enough, doctors don't know why this muscle is there. In most people, it never contracts at all. When you are feeling fine, your smooth muscle is relaxed, just like it is in people without asthma. One of the important things that we've learned about asthma is that cells, called inflammatory cells, come into the lining of the airway. These are the cells that your body usually uses to fight an infection. When you have asthma, it often seems like these cells have come to fight something, even though there is nothing dangerous there. A lot of these cells release chemicals to help them fight the thing that they think is there, and some of these chemicals can cause the smooth muscle in your airway to contract. When that happens, your airways get narrower, and you feel short of breath. Another thing that scientists have learned about are the triggers that can cause your airway to become narrow. Some of these cause the inflammatory cells to come into the lining of the airway. You probably already know about some of these. Allergens, like house dust mite and certain plants, including trees and ragweed, are the most common cause of inflammation in airways of people with asthma. Infection with virus or bacteria can also make the inflammation worse. Once the inflammation is there, other triggers, which are normally harmless, can make these cells release their chemicals. Breathing in cold air and exercising are two common triggers. Hopefully this will help you to understand why you get short of breath in some situations but feel fine in others. Most people with asthma are aware of what some of their triggers are and try to avoid them. Hopefully it also makes sense that one of the goals in treating your asthma is to control the inflammation so that you can do things like exercise and go out in the cold 
just as much as you want to. Before we talk about the treatments that are available for asthma, you need to be aware that asthma is a chronic disease. That means it is a disease that usually does not go away by itself, and there are no drugs that can cure it. Because of this, patients with asthma usually need to take medication to control their symptoms and to make them feel as well as possible. There are two types of treatment that people with asthma can take. We call them relievers and preventers. All patients with asthma love their reliever medication because this is the medication that rapidly opens up their airway and makes them feel better when they are short of breath. Preventer medications work differently by reducing the inflammation, which prevents the airway from narrowing as much or as often. Doctors like preventer medications because they know that they will prevent their patients from getting sick as often. Reliever and preventer medications are both very important in the treatment of asthma. We will look at them in more detail so that you can better understand how they work and how you should use them. Hopefully, you have realized that the goal in managing your asthma should be to use your preventer medication properly so that you hardly need to use your reliever medication at all. We will look in some detail at four different types of treatment that you may be given for your asthma. These are reliever puffers and three different types of preventer treatment. Steroid puffers, combination puffers, and a steroid pill called prednisone that you might take if your asthma gets severe. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you would like to watch another in the series, click on that icon here. If not, thank you for watching.